Kevin Crease has left an enormous hole in our hearts, in our lives, and right here in Studio 2, where creasy has been with me since 1987. Of course, Kevin has been the face of television for much longer than that. He was the first man on our screens back in 1959 during television's arrival in Adelaide. Kevin lost a short battle with cancer last night at the age of 70. His passing has cost us a mentor, a friend, and a man we all trusted. And that's National 9 News. Have a fabulous and safe Christmas weekend. Right now, here's Tracy. Good night. Who would have known a terrible fate was to make this Creasy's final Christmas message, diagnosed a week later with cancer? His battle ending last night in Queen Elizabeth Hospital with friends and family at his side. We had no expectation of um, losing Kevin the way it happened. Um, it was terrific to work with him for 20 years. Um, he set the benchmark for news reading in South Australia. And it wasn't just news where Kevin excelled. A consummate professional, but also a very kind man and a decent man, but a very private man as well. His former colleagues with fond memories from the earliest days of television. And the funniest person. I mean, he had the quickest wit of anyone I've ever met in my life. A co-star of Adelaide Tonight with Lionel Williams. Among the most memorable of his Adelaide Tonight sketches, a pie in the face that went horribly wrong. And Kev went whack into Jerry's face and broke the plate, cut his face, it made headlines. Kevin shining alongside even the brightest stars of Australian entertainment. I put him down as one of the great newsreaders of Australia. That was the news desk where Kevin settled and where many here at nine remember him. Such a generous man in all respects, but to work with the younger people coming in to the industry, to spend time with them, to pass on some tricks of the trade, uh, Kevin was just so generous in that regard. A storyteller without peer. He could um, string a yarn out for half an hour with a fantastic punchline. He could come in here with a twinkle in his eye. When it comes to personalities, they don't come any bigger or better than Kevin. He was unique, a one-off, someone that won't be repeated, and we're going to miss him dearly. Among those with Kevin at the very end was his son and fellow sailor Tom, who Kevin was extremely proud. Condolences and words of support have been pouring in from viewers. Kevin was part of our family and his sad passing marks an end of an era for South Australian television. He had the knack of bringing this studio alive in those early days. It will never again be the same. Ray McGee, National 9 News. Kevin's was a life lived in the spotlight. Let's look back now at his journey. It's his greatest story of all. Thank you for saying I am beautiful. <laughs> you, beautiful. Kevin Kreese was born an entertainer. I can see what you had for breakfast. And what did I have for breakfast? Eggs. Well, you're wrong. Huh? That was yesterday morning. And born a storyteller. It's the first time that a capital city of Australia his star shot into the world on the 8th of March 1936, with the boy growing up in Semaphore and the port home for most of his life. I used to do magic tricks down on the beach in the morning. Yeah. Then go and work on my dad's slippery dip during the day to polish it up with floor polish. The child showman's talent took him from newspapers to radio and then his life's calling. Kevin was the first man on Adelaide television, beating even Premier Tom Playford's famous welcome. And I wish you, listeners, good viewing. It was July 1959. Fire had forced the crew into a makeshift studio near Channel 9's modern-day makeup room. So we set up a camera and a few, few chairs and things in the, women, what was the women's dressing room. And that was our first studio, and I interviewed uh, four charming ladies, and we had a bit of a contest as to who won that. The handsome youngster compared many of Channel 9's pioneering broadcasts, wow. from children's television and pantomimes... To Jack! These are only common old garden beans. Where's, 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 where's the money? To Adelaide Tonight, alongside Lionel Williams. <laughs> Kevin. Mademoiselle. <laughs> Je te plumerai les ailes. <laughs> Giving us our first taste of broadcast variety. Well, this summer, you're going to need air conditioning. <laughs> Even taking the cameras to Alberton for Magpie's train. <laughs> I can still feel those bumps. I really can. There were bruises too, thanks to the risks of life to air commercials. <laughs> One brought Kevin's brief suspension for the ad lib doodle. This is how television has changed over the years. He survived and thrived, becoming Kevin Creese newsman, taking up the desk of National 9 News in the mid 1960s after announcing to Adelaide the assassination of John F. Kennedy. 
that changed the whole concept, I think, of television news from that time on. It also changed our attitude to the world. A world generations would come to know through Kevin Kreese. A world and beyond. He broadcast man's landing on the moon. That's one small step for man. Through the news and later news beat, he brought the wondrous. With a 50th birthday to be celebrated. And sometimes the earth shattering. Tonight, the world is trying to come to terms with the almost unbelievable events of the past 19 hours. The tall twin towers of New York's World Trade Center, now little more than rubble. It was a role he relished at Channel 9 and for 10 years at Channel 7. A reign broken only by a brief stint working with the Premier Don Dunstan. Uneasy with celebrity, he was comfortable with the camera for all its challenges. It can be terribly, terribly difficult not to become emotionally involved sometimes. Suddenly a story will just grab you, won't it? Kev was there for us all until almost the end, presenting his last bulletin on Friday the 2nd of February. Tension has eased between the fiercest protagonists in the war over water. What are you doing? Signing George off Henry with the a trademark smirk. Right now, it's back to the cricket. Good night. Might have been missed. And join us here on Channel 9 at half past six on Sunday night for a special presentation, Goodbye Creasy. It's an hour long and commercial free. Look back at the life of a legend. To other news now, and the state Liberals have